once the oil comes out from the machine, it is first placed into a standing container. In this container, the pyrolysis oil will stand for about 24 hours, during which any remaining water, which would have been formed by having moisture in the plastic, will now separate from the oil. When loading the reactor, we always want to make sure that the plastic is as clean and as dry as possible. This is where the pre-preparation of the raw material has a very important role. For example, if the plastic has a lot of moisture, let's say that the plastic material has been in a rain, what would typically happen is that for the first few hours, we wouldn't get any oil at all. We would simply get a lot of steam as the plastic inside the reactor is now heated and converted into water. This is why the standing container is very important, because any water which would be mixed with the oil will be naturally separated when the oil stands for approximately 24 hours. After this, we will be able to take the water and process that further in a water cleaning system. And now the oil is ready to be filtered, stored, and eventually delivered for our clients. Once the oil is ready for delivery, it will be loaded into so-called ISO containers, a specifically designed chemical tank built inside of a container form, which can hold as much as 24,000 liters of oil for one shipment. Our logistical partners will then send these containers to our facility where we load the oil into the container, and after that, it gets shipped for our off-takers. For example, Shell, who uses our oil in their processing in creating of the chemicals needed for the plastic manufacturing. This is the simplest summary of the process called pyrolysis, where plastic waste will first be converted into oil and then that oil can be used to produce new plastic products.